from the experience of our own journey, from the evil system of apartheid, which was declared a crime against humanity by this very organization, to democracy. We value the importance of engaging all parties to conflicts to achieve peaceful, just, and enduring solutions. It is these principles that inform South Africa's participation in the African Peace Initiative, which seeks a peaceful resolution of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. In this conflict, as in all conflicts, we have insisted that the UN Charter's principle of respect for the territorial integrity of every country should be upheld. Our participation in the African Peace Initiative, supported by seven countries from the African continent, is informed by a desire to see an end to the suffering of those most directly affected by the conflict and the millions on our own continent and across the world who, as a result of the conflict, are now vulnerable to worsening hunger and deprivation. As we engaged with the parties in this conflict as African leaders, one of the issues we raised was that there should be confidence-building measures that could create a sense of conflict towards the resolution of this conflict. In this regard, we said issues such as the return of the children who were removed from Ukraine should be returned. We also said that the prisoners of war should be exchanged between the two countries. I've just held a meeting with President Zelensky, who says that, in part, some of our efforts are bearing fruit as the children are now being returned and the prisoners are also being exchanged. But then we said we need to see this happening on a much faster pace. As the international community, we must do everything within our means to enable meaningful dialogue, just as we should refrain from any actions that fuel conflict.